Uh, some uh, pearls of wisdom from leading driver Jason Bartlett as we look ahead to our Sunday France races here. First of all, congratulations. It's been a very productive week for you. Yeah, it's been a good couple days. Um, had the right spots, right horses, and uh, trips worked out. So, yeah, it's been, I'm grateful for that. Let's talk about uh, some of the Sunday early races. Uh, eight hole in the weekly trotting feature. Wind of the North, uh, first time this one's been an overnight in quite some time. Uh, tr a tremendous amount of class was in our Yonkers Invitational Trot on uh, International Day, but obviously you're going to have to earn it from behind the eight ball here. Yeah, eight hole, great horse, you know, uh, just a starting spot in my, my opinion. Um, driven this horse when I was a four-year-old, I loved him, and uh, so I haven't driven in a couple of years, but he raced really well last year, last week in the Invitational here, followed Melodies when I ran up. Right up. I mean, we were out a long way, so uh, he. I just beat him at the wire for second. So I'd expect a pretty good performance in there. You know, eight hole. You know, we'll float him out, see what happens. But you know, uh, I think he's the best in the race if any get any trip. What? Uh, let me go back to when you drove as a four-year-old. What'd you like about him back then? I uh, just, just a you know, nice, willing horse, very handy, and uh, had a high speed when when I drove him. Uh, so I really liked the horse, and you know, thankful I get a you know another shot at him. Okay, that's post eight. And as we're recording this, by the way, Mr. Bartlett getting ready to do his business before the first race on a Friday night, so we'll keep this going rather quickly. Luckily, Irish in race two, uh, you won with uh, this one last time, earns a bump up the ladder. Does he have another class in him? Yeah, yeah, the horse uh, raced really well last week. First over, mile and 56. It was kind of a windy night, kind of an off night, and uh, won pretty handily in 56. Um, I thought it could go a little bit quicker. Uh, the only bad thing is he doesn't have a lot of gate speed, but a uh, mile and a quarter, I'd expect him to be right there. Okay, quick look at uh, race number three. Uh, the morning line man likes Hemi Seals. Now, this one we have not seen before, though it does come off a win, rather handy win upstate. When you look at this race, can you tell if the out-of-town lines translate into the class they're in against here? Um, no, I, 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 I watched the replay one handily. I mean, as handy as you can win. Um, so, looks like he has gate speed, and uh, looks like we should be in a good spot. Post six there, and a quick word before Mr. Bartlett goes out for the opener here. Uh, this one, well, uh, does beat Lesser out of town, and Plain Ridge invades from uh, Massachusetts. Belmac Cody from Monique Cone, post seven. Yeah, I don't know nothing about this horse. Um, you know, it looks like he's been racing pretty decent at Plain Ridge. Uh, five eighths to a half now, so um, we'll have to find out if he's going to be able to corner around here. Well, the first thing you notice about this one is, is for the most part, uh, he does keep at it for three turns then, and hopefully uh, uh, five turns here. So. Right, and not knowing how uh, he'll handle a mile and a quarter either. So, yeah. you know, it's kind of, uh, you know, kind of going into that, not knowing. Okay, Jason Bartlett, the best of luck tonight and best of luck Sunday. Thank you. All right. We're coming back.